Since 2017, the Nintendo Switch has provided hundreds of hours of nostalgia right in the palm of our hands, or TVs as you prefer to play docked mode. As fans of classic games, we absolutely love this device and everything it's given us the past 7 years. And if you're anything like us and grew up playing video games anytime between the NES to the Wii era, emulation can be clunky or confusing to set up and even illegal depending on what country you're in. Or maybe you're wanting to relive your memories with your kids on one of your favorite games. That's one of the reasons we love the Switch, including the fact I can play it in the bathroom. I'm Craig with Out of Control Games and we sat down and compiled a list of 5 reasons the Nintendo Switch is a dream handheld for parents who are retro gamers. The Nintendo Switch Online service is not only the cheapest compared to the Xbox and Sony's offerings, but provides the very best games from the NES through Game Boy Advance's libraries. While there will be many that are always going to scream for more games, the Switch Online library features enough games to provide hundreds of hours of fun. For just $20 a year, one user gets access to the entire NES library that's available online as well as Super Nintendo and Game Boy. Or if you're wanting more, you can upgrade from the base plan to the expansion pass of $50 a year that nets you Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, and Nintendo 64 titles as well. The hits of each system are all here. NES features all five Mario Brothers games, the Zeldas, Metroid, Kirby, and more. Super Nintendo has almost everything that was on the SNES Classic Edition if you missed out on that, including some other games such as Breath of Fire RPGs, the entire Donkey Kong Country trilogy, and a couple of hidden gems like Super Valus 4. It's also worth investing the extra $30 now for the expansion pass, just for the Sega Genesis and Nintendo 64 titles alone. You get Paper Mario, 1080 Snowboarding, Pokemon Stadium 2 on the Nintendo 64 library. Then for the Sega Genesis, you get Sonic 2, Crusader Ascenti, Mega Man The Wily Wars, and many more great hits. The service alone is worth owning a Switch if you're wanting to play the hits with rewind and save state features. And if one of your favorite titles didn't make it to the Switch Online service, there's a chance it was featured on one of the many retro collections that have been released in this console generation. We've received a ton of amazing games, from the Ninja Turtles collection, Contra, Castlevania, including the Castlevania Game Boy Advance games, various Mega Man collections from the original Mega Man series X, and even the Zero and the Mega Man Battle Network games that were featured on Game Boy Advance. And in Mario's 35th anniversary, we even got a package of Mario 64, Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario Sunshine all on one cartridge for a limited time. Even Sega has some representation with the Sega Classic Collection that features over 50 games from the Genesis on one cartridge. You can also download games of the Sega Ages Collections, which is ports of classic arcade, Genesis, and Master System games that have been brought back with some enhanced features. For instance, the original Fantasy Star includes your party's HP and MP gauges and filler space, as well as a dungeon map when you enter the first-person dungeons. Or if you like me and miss the arcade version of OutRun that was in your local Pizza Hut, it's here on the Switch as well. There's even a bunch of arcade games in the Arcade Archives collection. One of my favorites, the Versus Super Mario Brothers or Versus Castlevania that you would have found on a PlayChoice 10. Or even if you're in the mood to play the original Donkey Kong or if you're in the mood for something old school. You have Xevious, Galaga 88. The list of these arcade games is phenomenal and there's so many classics that you can go back and play. So as much as I love the PlayStation, GameCube, and Xbox generation, a lot of those games do not look as great as we thought they did on a modern HD TV. But you know what? We've seen a large number of these games from the sixth generation of consoles represented on the Switch as well. Tales of Symphonia is the PS2 port. Why we didn't get the GameCube port is a question for Bandai Namco, but we did get some amazing games like Katamari Damacy and its sequel, We Love Katamari. The amazing game Okami, which started on PS2, ended up on Wii, and then got ported for PS3 and everything else since then. Either way, it's a fantastic game that's held up wonderfully over the years and plays fantastic on the Switch as well. Square Enix has been probably one of the biggest supporters of the Switch, along with NIS. Square Enix brought over Final Fantasy X, XII, and the Saga series, and they even brought over the Mana series, including Secret of Mana, the beloved classic, Trials of Mana, the game we never got in the US, and Legend of Mana. 
which is a beloved hidden gem on the original PlayStation. Meanwhile, NIS is constantly pumping out Prinny Classics and the Disgaea games for the Switch as well. And there's been no shortage of love for GameCube classics and Wii kits as well. Baton Kaidos, Pikmin 1 and 2, Kirby's Dream Land Deluxe, Zelda Skyward Sword, Metroid Prime, the original even got a remaster. All of these classes have come back and soon, later in 2024, we will get Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Something else we've loved about this generation of console games is how many of these old games that we grew up with have been re-released with modern updates. Whether it's new graphics, UI, or enhanced features, or just some quality of life features. One of the most obvious in recent games would be Super Mario RPG. The Super Nintendo cartridge alone goes for up to $80 plus, but with batteries on these cartridges no longer saving and needing a working Super Nintendo, it can be a little inconvenient. While there is the emulation route, not every game is easy to emulate, especially games like Mario RPG or Star Fox that has Super FX chips. A lot of the cheap devices just won't make the cut, but the Switch remake does a great job of not just adding quality of life updates, but also includes new end bosses and fast travel and so much more. This is just one example. We've received a ton of great games from Advance Wars 1 and 2, Act Razor, Renaissance, a remake of the original, a director's cut of Cybernator called Assault Suit Falcon Declassified, even remakes like Spyro and Crash Bandicoot, which were fe featured on PlayStation, have come to the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo even gave us remakes of Link's Awakening. The list of these classics goes on and on. If you're looking for a rust and nostalgia, it doesn't stop here. We even have remasters or the PC ports of PlayStation's Final Fantasy Trio that made its way onto the Switch. Yes, you can finally play as Cloud on a Nintendo system. Or, if you're a fan of 8, it's there as well. But personally, I prefer 9 out of the trio now that I've gotten older and have some nostalgia glasses off because that game was absolutely fantastic and underrated. Along with a ton of other Square ports and many other companies have brought their original classics in a remake form of some kind. It's not just classic games that have come back and been remastered, remade, or whatever we're calling it these days. The Switch has been home to a ton of fantastic indie games that pay homage to the 8 and 16-bit classics, even the 32 and 64-bit eras. If you have a favorite style of game, odds are there is a game that's been developed similar to it. For Contra fans, you have Blazing Chrome. Castlevania fans can enjoy Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon 1 and 2. If you're a fan of Mega Man X, be sure to check out Gravity Rush or Shovel Knight. Personally, I loved the Donkey Kong Country inspired Kaze and the Wild Mask. And another favorite of mine is the Sonic fan game turned original Freedom Planet. RPG fans have had an absolute ton of games to play through on the Switch. Octopath Traveler 1 and 2 are fantastic games that are nods to the classic Final Fantasy and Bravely Default series. Even Chained Echoes is another amazing RPG if you're looking for an RPG with an adult story. Another RPG with an adult story that's a classic throwback to a Final Fantasy tactics is Triangle Strategy. Then we got Sea of Stars which is a huge homage to Chrono Trigger and Super Mario RPG. Even obscure games like Blaster Master have had a reimagining with the Blaster Master Zero trilogy. There's even tribute games to platformers like Donkey Kong 64 and Banjo Kazooie. And if you're a fan of these games, be sure you check out A Hat in Time, Ukulele, or for $3, Super Kiwi 64. As a Nintendo Switch fan, there's an overwhelming amount of classic games to check out. So, whether you recently purchased a Switch for you or your kid, or it's your go-to gaming device for the past several years, there's a ton of great games for us to enjoy. I know we're all secretly hoping for a Switch 2 this year, but if we do get one, I can guarantee you we'll still have many classic games to enjoy with it. So we don't know about you, but we're excited for 2024. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, well, what are you waiting for? It's free and we have a ton of great content planned for this year. Want to know what games to check out for the original PlayStation that are on the Switch? Hit the playlist at the end, or you can even check out our favorite retro game compilations for the Switch so far. I'm Craig with Out of Control Games, and we know that life, kids, work, everything can be out of control sometimes. Don't let your gaming be.